regular TV did surprisingly well. How do you measure that? With TV, you look at like a five minute window within running that particular creative. Any significant lift above the, the mean, I guess, becomes attributed. Oh, interesting. Let's talk about, because you, you mentioned that you're doing TV ads, right? So you've done YouTube ads, obviously you're doing Facebook ads, all video ad stuff. Now you moved over to doing actual TV ads. What happened with that? Are you running the same commercial that you ran on YouTube and Facebook on TV or what's happening no. with TV ads? I think that's really interesting. TV is a bit different. Like you're either doing 15 second or 30 second. So we, we actually recorded a video at my house. We hired a, an agency to come down. We had a director, a grip and a, a sound guy. We recorded a 30 second video at my house. It was like a founder spot basically talked about like, is this what your laundry looks like? Wouldn't you like it if it looked like this instead? We put it up um, primarily on linear, which is like regular TV. We also did uh, streaming, which is like Hulu and, and other things. Regular TV did surprisingly well. How do you measure that? Well, obviously there's a pixel on the site, but that doesn't do anything since you can't click through regular TV. What you do is you track a baseline traffic, baseline purchases by time of week on a running running period. And then with TV, you look at like a five minute window within running that particular creative. Any significant left above the the mean i guess becomes attributed oh interesting so, so they'll tell you we're going to run the ad at this time yeah yeah so we know exactly what time it runs at oh interesting there's an algorithm that basically looks at it and it's it doesn't include like any other marketing channel so it's only direct traffic within a five minute window of the broadcast and it's crazy you can see you can see the spikes oh wow because i know like just brand queries in general help you with your seo a lot right like google mm -hmm. knowing people are just googling your name is going to help you know increase your page rank and all that kind of stuff so that's very interesting that like that could totally help even just overall your whole online yeah. presence, but obviously the brand awareness in the store. How long have you been doing the TV ads? Huge branded brand branded term lift with TV. It's insane. Oh, that's so interesting. And what about like cost wise? Are you kind of like investing the same amount in TV as you're as you did on YouTube? Like what's what are you doing there? I think we were actually more on TV than the top of funnel. Like we were, we were testing it right, right. like probably for, I don't know, three or four months. And like we were getting crazy good results. And the thing about TV, Canadian TV sucks because you it's all premium. You have to pay for it in advance, like three months in advance. But the American system's really cool. So basically you have your premium where you can buy like a very sp particular time on a very particular show. And we've done that a couple of times, but it's very expensive. But what winds up happening is there's a whole bunch of inventory that doesn't sell. And what happens is it's called Redmond inventory and it basically goes to auctions. So like oftentimes you can get like an $8,000 spot for $2,000 and it's like three or $4 CPM. Oh, wow. You can pick the channel, you can pick the time window. It's usually like within like a, with Remnant, it's like a two hour window instead of like a very specific spot. Mm. You can basically over time, you, you can analyze which channels, which times, which days of the week do well and then optimize for the CPA that you want to get. So do they have like an online platform that you would go to to be able to like select the stuff or you have to call someone? Like how does that work? Yeah, so we, we use a media buying agency that, that also has a platform and they do have a self-serve platform now. I don't know exactly mm. how it works. The guys that we use are Tatari, but they yeah, there, there's a few. I mean, and like, I don't think it, it's not obviously not going to work in every single industry. Oh, I see. Yeah. We've literally tried one creative because the one interesting thing about TV is the rights. If you use proper actors, they're agents. They give you like time bound licenses to use. Uh -huh. So like a commercial with, you know, our, our funny video actors might be like $20,000 for like 13 weeks. I don't know what it is, but like it'd be like $20,000 per actor for 13 weeks. You have to take that into consideration. Like, does that now set the cost of that advertising medium? Like outside of the scope is that why you recorded yourself doing this video actually it wasn't we just didn't have like the first experiment was like going through all the material we already had and could we hack something up into something that was effective in that time frame and then since we couldn't do that I, I talked to some friends that had success on these platforms and combined with kind of what the best practices from the the agency told us i i did like a mashup between what i saw other friends having success with and what they told us was going to be successful if i'm summarizing correctly you started with like the scraps on tv but from that you were able to optimize and see what's actually kind of winning partly. And then you also have another part of the strategy where you're going for particular shots with best guesses, right? Or yeah, yeah. educated guesses. And then you kind of like whittle it down there. It's more like we have the one ad, we have a 15 and a 30 second, and we made a couple different cuts. Mm. They all worked fairly well, but it was like different networks have different people watching them and not everybody responds to like talking about environmental stuff, right? So like generally people that are, are really conservative yeah. may not really resonate with the message, might not resonate with them. So trying to determine which channels, which timeframes have that 
customer avatar watching. There's testing, you test a whole bunch of different channels, a whole bunch of different time slots. You get a rough idea what they are, then you, you weed out the crap and you find out which channels are working and then you, you test different time slots and you, you basically optimize your CPA to where you want it to be in. And then you just buy the amount of media that gets you costs that you want to spend on customers. It's interesting. You really got to nail the creative versus when we're talking things like these other platforms and whatnot that you can kind of quickly whip stuff up and kind of do a quantity uh, or, or volume play of content. This, you got to be very specific, right? Yeah. And the ad that we created for TV didn't really do very well on YouTube or Facebook. Yeah. It's super interesting. Sometimes you'll get good carryover, but like we tested it and we're like, oh, we're allowed to swear. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> but also I, I didn't have all these brown dots on my face when I was filming this video. Just for the record, I look much more handsome and young. <laughs>